yeah, like, this thing just... First of all, every two seconds feels a bit slow sometimes, and, like, if it's not near the boss, it's just not doing anything. So, I don't know. This aspect, this aspect still doesn't, like, make a lot of sense to me. Um, have to figure it out, I guess. Hello, sleep. Uh, we are... it's going pretty well, actually. Um, we're trying to get every Hades 2 aspect under 8 minutes, and we got two of them already in the stream. We got Mel Skull, um, which is honestly pretty strong and should have been a sub-7, but I choked. Um, and we got Eos, Eos, which makes zero sense to me still. So, I mean, sure, I guess. <laughs> and now we're on to Melax. Um, I guess I want Huntress over Titan, and I don't want Death here, I want Lovers. Um, yeah, Huntress just seems better than the Titan for Melax. You ran Dem Attack on Thane, I got a 745. Dem Attack seems honestly pretty, um, pretty nice, because Freeze is just really strong. So, um, Local Climate and Storm Ring? Interesting. I'll have to take a look later, but... There's a lot that we can do on Thanax that we haven't done yet. Um, oh, the critical ch chance is for all your Omega moves. Oh, wait, that's so sick. So you use your own, the, the attack just to build up mortality and like freeze to help you like not get hit. And then uh, the Omega cast is like the payoff for the crit chance. And Storm Ring hits a bunch of times, so you get a lot of value out of the crit. That's pretty good. That's pretty interesting. You remember Nanke being all in on Melt Skull and thinking of how strong it might be in like patch one? It's good. Melt Skull is strong. It's definitely um, been strong and still is strong. It's just um, not as fun as Medea, so most people end up playing Medea. Um, I don't think it's as strong as Medea, because it's a bit clunkier to play, but it's pretty good. Like, this thing is just a good weapon. It's just not Medea. It scales well all Omega. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That seems pretty cool. I'm going to have to try that out. I was mostly focusing on like an Omega attack build, just kind of pure attacking, but um, that seems pretty strong as well. Malax, we just do Afro, right? And then uh, get Rocky. And just go in on, try to get Dashing Heave. This one might be more difficult. Uh, this, this one is going to be tough if I don't get the hammer. That's a good start, though. I thought I dashed. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna have to figure out how to do dash strikes then. Medea lets people um, relive a mix of weird nostalgia. Yeah, it's just like all the good things about cast um, aspects and all the good things about. Achilles in one. It's great. Can you use a special in lieu of the last combo hit? Oh, that's actually a pretty good shout. So if I use it, like, right before... Um, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, being able to clear a wave in, like, three attacks is pretty sick. I cannot lie. <laughs> that is a Melax diff. Nimble limbs would actually be pretty good here. Yeah, I like that. It's only common though, so I'm not sure how much it does, but we'll see. Love these one-shots. Yeah, dude, I really like the um, Mel aspects they've made in this game. Like, they're all super cool. Like, attack power increase is sick. Um, Storm Ring honestly seems pretty good, right? 
like some sort of scaling or not scaling i guess but just a way to let me um clear away enemies um without having to use my attack this is without hunters that's true i've not been charging up my omega moves um poseidon i guess i can get hydro hydraulic might that's about it I think I want to save, because I, if I'm going to get Storm Ring, then getting Origination is going to get pretty difficult. You had a surprise amount of fun on Thanax after doing a few days grind on Coat? Yeah, Thanax is a good time. It's um one of my favorite like mid-tier aspects, and I was planning on grinding it even before um, the aspect of the week. Most of the male aspects feel as cool as Zagreal did. I think they're better than Zagreal, honestly. I did not like Zagreal that much. It's only... Okay, I guess for speedrunning, Zagreal is cool, because spread fire is a real niche. Just casually, I didn't like Zagreal. But they've gotten, yeah, they've gotten a lot better making the basic buffs be, like, relevant. And yeah, origination is going to be rough, but, uh, you know, what can you do? I think Storm Ring is good enough that I should probably just go for it. Um, I'll roll once for it, I guess. Don't know what I want here. Cast damage, gold. Um, I guess the onyx dress is fine. I don't know. It just says a big number on it. Yeah, it is mostly just a spread fire thing, but admittedly, once you know about that, it is a very cool thing um, that it does. Casually just hated rail in general. Yeah, rail's actually not that. We got the thing, by the way. <laughs> rail's not that good until you know about the builds for it. Um, this is good. Thunder Sprint wouldn't be terrible for Huntress. That is a fair point, yeah. Um, uh, I want Apollo for Sprint, right? And then I can actually get Glamour Gain for... Okay, I need to get the Sprint first, but I still roll for it again. I'm going to roll for it again. I don't care. Glamour Gain could give me uh, Origination. It's so low base with the right slot damage approach with the right special hammers. Yeah, it just does so little. I remember when I played casually on rail, um, I was just doing a bunch of uh, Doom attack stuff and running away. I just kept tagging them, reloading, running away, and that was my entire playstyle with a <laughs> with other thing. Okay, I need to make sure I don't get sheeped here. I should have known it is a far one. We Pseudo and I literally talked about this before. Okay, sub two. Nice. Used to hate Rail until watching Dunko's videos. Yeah, Rail feels bad until it feels so good. Dude, this thing owns an Erebus. <laughs> like... Just this giant um, attack with Afro is like so much damage, and we got the hammer too. Um, what do I take into Ocean, by the way? Do I just, like, I don't even know what I'm taking here. What am I trying to get? I just want to see more Afro, honestly. I want to get Secret Crush, I want to get Glamour Gain, I want to get um, Sweet Surrender, I want to get Shameless Attitude. That's all Afro. I could just droplet and then take antler into fields or maybe just keep droplet. I'm just gonna droplet. Like droplet is always my go-to whenever I don't know what to do. Even without Afro, it just deletes Erebus. Yeah, this thing's base power is just huge.
Sprint speed, attack damage are both good here, but I'm not going to roll super hard because we don't have... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Take that. Okay, I did not mean to... Um... And yeah, that's what I like Storm Ring for. Let's you just clear out enemies um, without having to be there. Going fast is good in a speed run. This is crazy information. I should have taken the Poseidon, actually. I should have locked the God Pool and then try to get for Hydraulic Might. Um, I'm going to try this to try to get Tall Order from Hermes. Uh, one sec. Starting to think Coat is kind of mediocre outside of Romantic Spark. I think the special is just my main issue with Coat. Like, if Coat's special actually worked, I would like it a lot more. But I think it has potential even, like, outside Romantic Spark. Like, a lot of my uh, just plain flat damage builds I was doing when I was still uh, figuring it out were getting, like, pretty good times. Like, low sevens, usually. Okay, I'm, I'm losing the thread here. I'm losing the thread. I don't know what's going on. I think we're missing mid-boss. Uh, Nitro Boost is good. I'm not going to roll with um, the Chaos thing. Um, Hera. No, I want Afro. Okay, it's not Afro, but Dem is fine. Oh, I can get Arctic Gale here. Yeah, that's good too. Um, I'm gonna roll once, because why not? Is it time to replace? Are you doing that now? Also, is my chat, um, my chat's reloading. That's not good. I think I just take Arctic Ring, honestly. Let's do this. Wait, stop. I'm so bad. Okay, 323, that Siren's Fight was pretty bad, but this is a good pace. Also, I think I need to refresh chat, so give me one second. We're having some technical issues, you know, here at twitch.tv slash Croven831, but what can you do? Okay, we're back. Um... I want to antler this. I want to antler this. I want I want damage. I feel like in fields our damage could start to fall off, especially losing Storm Ring. <laughs> Thank you for the follow sleep. This is pretty nice. And one heave.
Okay, that was a bit bad. Someone not following you? Yeah, that kind of thing just happens. Every once in a while you find someone that you thought you were following and you're not. Okay, I mean, it seems fine. I feel like Kronos is going to be a bit of a pain, though. Did we not get the Chaos thing yet? How many more boons do I need? Um, just one more? Okay, so one more boon. Uh, I guess we do this then, because I want to get my boon immediately. Or we get double the palms of Heartbreak Strike. Just kind of gaming, honestly. But it went from 180 to 210. I mean, okay, I guess. 30% not bad. Always feel too weird how long you have like 12 times as much armor as they do health. I mean, it's not unique to them, right? There were a couple of um, Hades 1 enemies like that too. I'm, tr I'm like struggling to think of which ones right now, but they exist. I know they do. This is a pretty bad room. Also, if you guys can hear like the lawnmower outside, I'm sorry. I cannot do anything about that. <laughs> The mid-boss specifically? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there are other mid-bosses like that, right? Like, um, I guess Butterfly Ball isn't too bad, but... I'm just going to take, like, this, I guess. I'm trying to think... I'm Okay, this is pretty good. I just can't think of the Hades 1 mini-bosses like that, because I feel like there were, but it it does have, a, like, very little um, health. Sorry, I got kind of distracted by the lawnmowers outside. <laughs> this pace is good, though. We're on another good pace. Okay, I think I got a feel for the combo a bit better now. What do I want here? Like, Seething Marauder? This seems bad. But this, I'm, these I don't really want to use ever. Looks like 2-1 armor HP ratio is fairly common in H1. That makes sense. What's the Lamia? Like, similar? Extra dose would be good, huh? Extra dose, but it costs me like a couple of seconds to traverse it. Um, yeah, let's just get it. Thugs having... Oh, Thugs is a good shout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They always felt like they had a ton of armor. Backburner is also probably fine. Okay. Let's go. I will say, Kronos is going to be difficult here. Like, if that's our damage... How do you do damage on this thing? Like, we got two Chaos buffs. I guess, um, Artemis Lethal Snare is something to look out for. Like, that seems really, really strong on this aspect. Getting, like, a good crit chance on your attack, which is this beefy. Uh, I sure what you got for me. A yarn? Sure, I guess. Anything to sell? Nah. 3,800, 480. Okay, that is obscene. <laughs> it's like one in 9 1 ratio. That's crazy.
Lethal Snare, Tropical Cyclone. Yeah, I do love Tropical Cyclone. I love that boon. Okay, we got the figs. So now I just need to, like, not throw. I guess we didn't get Shameless Attitude, which would have been nice. Um, but there really just isn't much to scale here, huh? And sometimes I keep um, messing up the dash strikes so I get just normal attacks instead. Okay. Lamia like mid boss has traits from inherits there from regular enemy, only overrides the armor, not the HP. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Um, Twenty percent global would have been nice, but not super impactful. It would have been forty, but um, I agree. On this kind of weapon, we're like just one thing. You only have one real source of damage. Global is useful, but not like that. Yeah, you know, like it's not super impactful. Um, so I don't know what you do to scale this thing. All right, let's see how this Chrono Slides goes, because I'm not, like, <laughs> looking forward to this. I think there's a very real chance I die in this Chrono Spike, even with all of what we have. Because I think Phase 2 could be bad. But we'll see. Oh, I should probably, uh... Missing Chronos. Please die. That's good. <laughs> I think Divine Vengeance got a rocky crit. That was crazy. <laughs> well, we got a sub-7 Melax. So uh, my Melax PB is better than my Thanax PB right now. That's pretty good. 